Welcome to an Act 4 Media Review. My name is Gabe, and today I'm joined with the lovely Jets. <laughs> and once again by my friend, the lovely Misael. Now you Thank can't, you. You can't hear the sound effect, but it was awesome. I heard, I, I, I believe it. I believe it. I heard a little bit from the, from the mic. You heard? From the, what's it it called? was beautiful. <laughs> you look great today, my fellow Ken. Thank you. And you know what, Ken? You look handsome too. Oh man, thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously today we're going to be reviewing Barbie, part two of our ba- Barbenheimer series. I think I messed up that name twice. Barbenheimer. 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 Some Barbenheimer. 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 Mm-hmm. So once again, before we get started, uh, we appreciate any support. Go ahead and like the video, share it with your friends, definitely subscribe. We're trying to get to seventy-five, right? Subscribers, if, that's the if goal. possible, please. If possible, it's definitely possible. We would like all With your support. the support that we can get. Okay, now let's just jump right into the review. And of course, we're going to do spoiler free at first for a couple minutes. We'll give our general thoughts and then we'll give it a rating one through 10. Um, then we'll go into the spoiler section. So, first, let's pass it to the lady. Well, 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 well. What did you think? This was an incredible, empowering, beautiful, and also just so, like, humanizing <laughs> movie that has probably changed me. <laughs> if I'm going to be fully For honest. the better? For the better, dude. Like, if you are a woman and you are thinking about seeing this movie, just go. Just go, even if it's by yourself. Well, let me ask you this, because I've been asked this a few times, you know. Mm-hmm. My my friends, my girlfriends, mm-hmm. friends have been asking me like, you know, uh, supposedly this movie is hard for them with mommy issues. Is that? <laughs> do you agree with that? I agree. Did you feel that really? Hundred percent. Because hundred percent. I tried putting myself in that perspective, and I just could not do it. I I don't know. It's because this isn't the can movie. I guess so. It's the Barbie movie. The Barbie yeah, movie. No, no offense. I know it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's for the it's girls. Okay. I tried. This one's for the ladies. No, I'm just kidding. So no, but, oh well. Um, yep, yeah. Go ahead. Um. So of course, those are your general thoughts. Um. Any, any criticisms, and then if not, or there are, give us a ranking, and I'll pass it on. No criticisms. Mm. None. This is a perfect movie. Ten out of ten. Wow. Wow. Ten out of ten. This is gonna be the best summer movie and also just the best summer ever for me like this is the best <laughs> summer i've had in a long time because of the whole anticipation of this movie but yeah i'm gonna throw it to you what did you think oh i didn't th- i didn't think you're gonna play host <laughs> um i had i don't like to say i had no expectations or little expectations for this movie um i was hoping it would be good mm. but any i guess yeah i guess yeah i just thought it was gonna be good and it's definitely blown my expectations like like a like an atom bomb. Like an atom bomb? Okay. <laughs> My expectations okay. have exploded, and this movie, uh, this movie was great. It was hilarious. Like I thought I was just gonna chuckle a couple times. Mm. It was genuinely funny all the way through until it's time to get serious. Um, it got really emotional, and like even I like teared up a little bit. And I was surprised. <laughs> and, and really, I did. Like like I wasn't like like crying or anything yeah. but like, like yeah. i got i got the feels and i was mm. like that's shocking yeah <laughs> i didn't expect that yeah. um and of course i should have started off um by saying that this is directed by greta gerwig mm-hmm. um who i've always heard is a great director but i've never seen any of her movies and i'm pretty sure that is about to change um i definitely want to see what else she can do because she's really good at emotion so i want right, to see right. what, and i mean the other movies are titled what Lady Bird. Yes, can, can I just say really quick that Lady Bird, from what I've heard, is like another like mommy issues movie that is just so like heartbreaking. So Greta Gerwig is just mommy issues director. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mommy issues director. Yeah, and then what is the other one? Little Women. Little, Little Women. women. Mm-hmm. So I'm guessing that's just what she does, right? She makes movies from for from a woman for women. Well, you brought this up, and I didn't know this, but she's gonna direct the next Narnia, right? I'm like. 90% sure. 
Right. Now that you said that like out loud and it's on the record, I'm just like, I hope I didn't get that wrong. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure she is. And I think it's going to be a series, I think. I, I think. I don't know much about it. I did hear of its existence. I don't know if it's right. a series or a movie. Well, that's it, it though. I if I'm wrong, I'm going to edit this shit out. Okay, anyway. So fine. if you're hearing this, she's directing Narnia. She's directing Narnia. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought it was really good. Mm-hmm. Um, and like for criticisms, I don't, I'm not going to say it was a perfect movie, but I right. don't have, me- I, I, I would have to force myself to have a criticism. Right. Um, and again, that's surprising too. Mm. <laughs> so ultimately, I'm going to give this movie a 9 out of 10. Wow. Hard than Oppenheimer. Babe. Yeah. Hard than Oppenheimer. <laughs> In, in, terms, Robert, of, in okay. terms of Gabe enjoyment, uh-huh. yeah, I could see myself watching this movie again a lot sooner than I'm gonna watch Oppenheimer. Now, Oppenheimer is <laughs> well. Now we're spoiling the Oppenheimer review. Go watch the Oppenheimer review for these thoughts, and that's all I'm gonna leave them with. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> Can I interject really fast? Sure. Um, I just wanted to confirm a fact check, and yes, she is gonna be directing the next Narnia movie. Yay. And she said that she is scared to because it is a big thing to tackle. It, um, so here their movie she, is not series. Uh, well, it says Narnia Films. Okay. So let's start the let's start the hype train now, and let's get James McAvoy back as Mister Tumnus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's do that shit, <laughs> my friend Misael. What did you think about Barbie? So. I want to start off by saying I didn't have any expectations for it. Like I just kind of went in just kind of hoping to have a good time. And I had a good time. Okay. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. I was similar to you. I'm sure you could hear me laughing throughout the whole freaking movie. Uh, it was freaking hilarious. It was great. Just as you mentioned, it had its serious moments. And those serious moments were definitely serious and emotional. Like, I, I didn't tear up, but I did feel like, wow, like this is kind of hitting. Like, you know, I could kind of, I, I can see and kind of feel the situation, right? Yeah. So, if I have to give it a rating, it's also a 9 out of 10. Whoa, man! We should have kept like 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 a bomb explosion. Oh, oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> wow, ten nine nine. Yep, yep. Okay. Um. Yeah. Well, those are our general thoughts. Mm-hmm. Very quick. Now, if you'd like to stick around for the spoiler review, we're gonna give you a second. Um, we won't hit a button this time. We're just gonna we're just gonna stall a little bit. We're gonna let them find their phones. We're gonna let them find their remote. They're going to go ahead and hit pause and get out of here. And now we're going to enter our spoiler chat. And once again, we're going to go back to you. <laughs> Since you said 10 out of 10. Yes. Again, this is what I, what I was mentioning to him on the last review. Anything you want. Characters, moments, scenes, feels, anything you want. Where, does, where do you want to go? Anywhere. You start off. Dude, let's just start with how it opened. That opening <laughs> was perfect and so spot on when it came to like um like you know the introduction of dolls and like i know barbie was first i just want to state that i was never a barbie person or a barbie girl uh when i was younger i did have some dolls i did notice some that i had as a little girl but i was mainly a brat's girl so i just wanted to clear that first but oh my gosh back to the movies yes the introduction with the whole like the giant barbie standing cubic <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the Space Odyssey reference, if that's where it's from, right? Yeah, it has yeah. A, lot of, a lot of Easter eggs. Yes. And, and just the moment, like when, when the little girls start breaking the dolls. When they the see dolls. her, when they see her and they're just like. <laughs> they're just going that's off. That's when I started cracking up and I was like, this, this, this is going to be perfect. I already know where this is going. Um, Margot Robbie is just perfect casting for this movie she just was yeah. incredible and um yeah what did you think misael what were your favorite parts of the movie my favorite parts were were um when kens were when the kens were involved <laughs> uh, for me <laughs> yeah. he went straight to the guy stuff <laughs> i i have to you know like one you know we kind of briefly touched on that i i don't have Mommy, the mommy issues that, that <laughs> like, he may have had. My mom's perfect, <laughs> you know. But um, I just I found those moments a lot more enjoyable that involved Ken because they're they're Kens and they're they're not the brightest bunch. 
but uh, we were just talking about we were just briefly like just messing around how we should like give more bro love to each other right and they, the, they support each other so much so that i, I like your glasses thank you <laughs> <laughs> i like your beard oh i tried something different today <laughs> oh anyway so the one scene is uh with with the coat <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, oh, remove that the, coat. At, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the passing of the coat. The, pa- the passing of the coat, and then they're like, oh, that coat is ugly. And he's like, or oh, wait, what? How did it go again? I think I, I, I think I'm, I'm getting confused. Yeah, I think he told himself like like this stupid the coat stupid or something. Coat. And he's like, you look cool, man. <laughs> he's like, you, you look, look cool. cool <laughs> they're so supportive. So, just seeing that, like, uh, it, it kind of it kind of really it has a good portrayal of the gist of you know both women and men mm-hmm. or just guys and, and all gals, the stereotypes and all the stereotypes that. but we'll get into that right now and just like seeing that bro love where it's just like even that huge fight scene it's like oh that's awesome i'm sure <laughs> me and you knew like what, what was gonna happen they were yeah, never gonna yeah. keep like eventually they're just gonna like you know what what, what are we even yeah. fighting for <laughs> they got each other's respect we got each other's respect so that part was just great i freaking loved it um but kind of adding to like the whole margot robbie she was great as as barbie ryan gosling was great as freaking ken like there was just it had a really really good cast Seriously. like both of these movies since we're since it's barbenheimer thing both both of them had great casting and barbie also did a great job i i was really impressed with how deep the story went like it it wasn't about it wasn't like little girls mm trying to like find themselves or anything like that right. if anything it was about the well it definitely was about the mom like about women like it was about barbie herself fighting yeah herself. i mean oh yeah that was even deeper but yeah. but we'll go deeper in just a moment but just first layer was it was about like a grown woman who has a family and everything st- like trying to find that inner child and trying mm-hmm. to find some happiness but it wasn't so like sad and heartbreaking no, like i mentioned no. like we teared up but it was more mm-hmm. over like something like the monologues later and yeah. i mean i'm not a woman but like i have a girl like and i i notice you know um some stuff that like, we talk about and right. that's why I, I like when i hear some of those messages like i didn't have to look at her to know that she was crying <laughs> <laughs> i was just like oh this is gonna hit jets hard like not even like like mommy stuff it, it's just yeah o- overall like, like again like and- like we're in our mid-20s and that's not old at all but it's like you're not just because you're not a little girl anymore doesn't mean you're not going through anything right and and kind of just to add to that like the woman you said the mom she's older than the mid-20s and she was going through stuff and it it, you don't need to be a girl to have those to understand exactly the emotion that is portraying like i said even i was like I didn't tear up, but I definitely felt the emotion i was like man like that's tough you know and you felt the feels it's something that you don't always realize, like you may know about it, but you don't like you kind of forget about it in the everyday life, and it's like, wow, like this is actually kind of true, and you know, it, it does a good job at bringing light to that, right? True, and especially, you know, it's overall the movie still aimed towards younger people, children, and to kind of already have those messages going at like towards them is like it's it's big. It's it's a, it's an important thing, right? Because it's it's literally empowering the the girls. Yeah. The little girls with the Barbie dolls. For sure. And I just want to say that this movie really is for the girls mm-hmm. and you know, on your going back to what you had said earlier about how you couldn't really relate with right. because, you mommy know, issues. Mm-hmm. with the mommy issues, but to be fair, like a lot of girls mm-hmm. do not have good relationships with their mothers. Right. A lot. Right. It is very rare that you will find or meet a girl that's like, oh, I have a great relationship mm-hmm. with my mom. And we're starting to see that a lot more in movies, too, like, like with everything everywhere all at once. And just, yes. and like, like, that is a yeah. theme that's coming up more and more that I'm noticing. Yeah. I do want to add one thing real quick. Yes, it is oriented for girls. That doesn't mean it's only for girls. I no, think for men sure. should definitely, because, and I'm saying this because, I have brought it up a few times. Like, oh, I'm gonna go watch Barbie, and then they're like, "You gonna go watch Barbie?" I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go watch Barbie. I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> like, watch Barbie with my friend Gabe. I'm gonna go watch Barbie <laughs> with my friend Gabriel. You know, what about it, man? You know, and I, I, I think you know, um, if there's a guy wa- watching this podcast, this episode, and you haven't seen it yet, you that de- you definitely should. And I think the the women that are watching this or have watched the movie should definitely encourage the men in their life to go see it because it's even though like i said it is oriented 
towards like a children movie to like a little girl's movie, it, the messages are a lot more complex than that. Um, sorry, go ahead. I don't know. I was going to pass it to you because I know you got some questions for us. So, yeah. so ask away, ask away <laughs> or say whatever you're going to say and then ask your questions. But the floor is yours. Well, I was just going to add, like, yeah, there was definitely some deep messages and um, themes about the patriarchy and, like, mm-hmm. men's standards, too. And um, I wanted to ask you guys on what you thought about, like, Ken's whole, like, arc, how he kind of became, like, the bimbo side character that kind of just, like, had his own... Was just there for the looks and just be, you know... No, 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 no. Don't, don't pass it on to me. I've <laughs> talked enough. It's your time to talk. you talked enough. <laughs> Um, I was actually going to ask him that question too. Like, how do you think that they portrayed men in this movie? So it kind of goes like hand in hand with that. Yeah. And I mean, there's a lot of truth to that. I don't necessarily know, you know, like if men, cause men are definitely in power and shit is wrong. You know, like, like we, we know this, this isn't brand new. Um, I don't know if that's because we are men and inherently we have these issues and we, right. we crave power or if it's just because it's always been that way that we're, we're kind of just. Which is kind of, it's generational in a exactly. sense where it keeps being Exactly, exactly. So, on. like, if there was a Barbie land where all women were in power, would it be the perfect world or would it end up having the same issues but now women are the assholes, you know? <laughs> um, so, I'm sorry, did that answer your question or <laughs> well, <laughs> what specifically did you ask? My bad. I mean, like, what did you guys think about Ken's character and, like, his whole side quest? But I guess that So, here's the, here's the thing. Um... I think dealing with the actual Ken, with the Kens themselves, is it's it's a bit more complex because the way that I was seeing it, and and at least in this movie, is that they were kind of they didn't really have anything, mm-hmm. right? That's true. And in a world where they don't have anything, like I think that's the reason why he was able to pick up like the patriarchy, like the the the. the to being like a a man in the real world, that's why that's what changed him so quick and Feeling so easily. The right? He he uh, to him he was just like, I don't know who I am either. Like I'm I'm, I'm just a beach, as he says it. Am I beach? <laughs> am I am I just always chasing my Barbie doll you, you and she doesn't have want a, me? You want to have a beach off? Let's have a beach off. I'm gonna beat you <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the with all these like like like. Surprisingly, we're having these like deep conversations about men and women, which is what I wanted this to be anyway. But then you have those stupid moments like the beach off. The beach off. I'm sorry for interrupting you. That beach off was great. All right, it <laughs> Don't was. Get you yeah. started. It was awesome. It was a great scene. Um, however, yeah, that's um, the arc itself is really good. Both, I think, both Ken and Barbie had a great arc. Um, both different, very different, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but overall, it had the same root, which is identity. Yeah. Like, who who am I? Right. Yeah, I think this was really great at pointing out like gender norms and right. um like, well, I mean, duh. But like, no, I mean, I just thought it was great. Like, it made me think about the patriarchy in a different way as well, and how sometimes like feminism at first kind of did come off as evil because I know a lot of girls, <laughs> kind of sadly, who thought feminism was like this evil thing of like women wanting to be in charge and like women only no man like shame man like men can only be evil like subdominant thing like right you know know? and um and i think that just goes back to the thing too of like other men not wanting to see this movie because i think that's so ridiculous that's so like toxic masculinity masculinity to a t like did go, did you feel any of that before going into like before anybody made any comments? Did you feel anything like that about about, what? about like feeling away about watching this movie? No. Yeah, like, that's no. why I neither did I. I, I mean, I was, I was going like, oh. when I first saw it, like Barbie. What the hell? And then like they they released the trailer, and I was like, oh, this is gonna be cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I wasn't like really sold on like in terms right. of like, getting hyped on the mm. trailers. Yeah, I wasn't hyped, but I was like, okay, this is gonna be interesting at least. You know? Yeah, and, and I knew I knew I wanted to watch it with the with the trailer. Now, what do you think about Ken's whole thing? Because it is commentary. Right. So what do you think about, like, Ken's whole thing about, like, pretty much just a man wanting a woman's love? Like, like, do you think there's any truth in that, that, that we are useless without women's love? Because I'll, I'll tell you this. I like, would. Okay. Or, I'm sorry. I was no, just trying to buy off. you some time. Because um, I don't personally think that that's true. I think it's true for a lot of people, right. a lot of men, mm. or just a lot of people. Mm. But, um... I definitely think that's true on how we're seen. Like, where oh, yeah. we're not successful. Right. Like, you can have a great job, whatever, but you're not successful unless right. you have a, a woman. A woman, right. right. 
So kind of um, to answer the, your question is no. Um, we don't need the love, but is it good to have? Obviously. And uh, I think in Ken's character, at least, right, you, you know, like we, we, we hear him, we see and hear him say a lot, like, like it's not, it's always Barbie and Ken, right? So he has the and, and it, like, so it kind of, we see him like he's always kind of chasing you. Like all he wants is her, like her love, like yeah. just to be wanted. And yeah, you know, each Barbie has her own Ken, right? At least that's, that's the way it's put in, in, in the movie. And it's mm-hmm. like, dude, like, like when, when are we going to have time? Right. Yeah. So he's definitely craving that, but I think it also stems from like, that's all he knows also. Right. Cause, but that's also part of the design as opposed to us. Do we need love? Yes. Does it have to be from women? No, but it's nice. Oh, oh it's nice. <laughs> and Ken's love Ken. And that's the reason why I was to say that, right? Because like in the movie we see Ken's, they give each other their own they love. They support each other. Because yeah. they understand each other. They're like, you know what? Like, dude, oh, you're cool. Oh, like you look good, man, or whatever, you know, like yeah. they have that support. And and they play but, with guys being dumb. I mean I mean they do right. overdo it. Because I saw some people yeah. criticizing that oh it's just shitting on men the whole time. Well, it is a Barbie movie, like it, like you said, it is catered to to girls. Mm-hmm. Um, now, not the whole thing. Like, after watching right. it, like for sure, it's not. Right. But like when you hear the name, like a Barbie, like who's gonna come? Girls are gonna come. Girls are gonna come. Um, so it does play guys like where we are dumb, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> and we are to some, but, extent, yeah. to some extent. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, how did you feel about that? like 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 or just all like the commentary, like all the jokes they're making? Yeah. Did so, you find truth in that from your perspective? Did you uh, find so truth in that? What were your thoughts on that? <laughs> in every single joke that was made about everything, they were all true. <laughs> everything. Dude, no. There was so many like dark and sad jokes in this that um, I definitely want to bring up because I thought it was like funny at first, but mm. then I read a comment about it. But anyways, yeah, there's a, a lot of truth to these jokes. And... Like Will Ferrell's character, oh, oh yeah, my oh god, gosh, yeah. he was incredible. Like he just played like the perfect CEO. Dumb when when he's chasing Barbie and, and he's like, I'm gonna jump over the, the cubicle. It's gonna be faster. <laughs> <laughs> he gets the car and he just throws it on the on the on the little thing. <laughs> they run into each other and just like ah. He just runs like, away. He's yeah. like, no. <laughs> so so what do you think? What was his portrayal? What was his, like? What was his like? Like the commentary? No. What was his? What was what was Will Ferrell's portrayal in the, the movie besides being a CEO? You know, because the there's I feel like there's oh, meaning behind that. Like right? also like the big like just also what is that word? Just like the like normalized stand because he was also trying to put Barbie back into a box, and he was trying to like make her conform again to like. Right be this perfect girl and like all this other stuff so i think he was also trying to play up that um like society enforcing role the, to me he seemed like that person that was like who portrays himself as being like a feminist and like he's like mm. really trying really hard but you can tell he's really not much like he doesn't yeah. really care about it right yeah and we see a lot more towards the end where he's like okay i'm gonna give in to what you guys want but everything he says is like I forgot I, I forgot the exact words, but I guess they requested Barbie to not be or to they they requested an ordinary Barbie or, or something. He's oh, like, yeah. no, no, we're, we're not gonna have that. And then his his assistant was like, oh no, that would make a lot of sales. Like it's because like okay, I guess we will yeah, have that, he's right? Wish, he's like a so, wish washy CEO, yes. who's just money hungry. Like right, he, right. At, at one point, he does have that line where he's like, he's "Like you think I'm in this for the bottom line?" He's like, "I'm in this. I, I, I got into this like to to make toys for little girls, like, like, in, in the most like non weird way possible, <laughs> or something like that." But he was hilarious. Yeah, yeah well, it was great. Um, there was this one uh, like moment that I wanted to bring up when Barbie comes into the real world. And um, it was hilarious because she's, like, approaching construction workers, hoping to get some feminine energy. (laughs) Um, But then they just start, like, you know, catcalling her, like, making comments to her. And I was laughing so hard because how true that is. Mm. But I saw this one comment someone made about how that is such a huge metaphor of, like, 
transitioning from a little girl to like womanhood because right one day like coming from a personal experience you're just a little girl like oh, you play with that. dolls <laughs> you know you're playing with dolls like you feel so innocent mm -hmm. and then there's just one day when you're still a little girl mind mm -hmm. you like right, when right. I, I my first cat call was when i was like 10 years old i was so small and it changes you right. like it makes you feel so self-conscious you feel so like unaware about or like you start feeling so aware about yourself and let me just read this one um <clears throat> note that i found that said um it mirrors how growing up as a girl one day you're okay and next all of a sudden you feel bad about your appearance and you're receiving unwanted advances is something that is so important that should be recognized and yeah and it's true like yeah i just yeah that i just wanted to share that because that's very true and very like sad and but funny <laughs> And that's why I probably would have felt uncomfortable. Funny in just an ironic way. Yeah. Sorry. I would have felt uncomfortable doing this without a woman present right. because, like, there's so many little things that, like, we don't understand. Right. And I can't believe this movie, like, hit like this. Like, I heard Greta Gerwig was good, but just the fact that, like, most of this conversation has been about gender norms. Not even gender mm -hmm. norms, but, like, gender, just gender. About, like, how men are, how women are. Um, they go through. What, yeah, with their own struggles and shit. Mm. Like even like how Ken stuff was like kind of dumb. It eventually got like emotional. Mm. Like his story, like he ends up being the villain, and then it's all because of, you know he just <laughs> never had love and never found himself. Right. And, and he fell for the patriarchy. And, yeah, and he, he came to to America, fell for the patriarchy. Hey, and no offense, that's a lot of men's downfall is when you fall for the toxic masculinity and you fall for the patriarchy and think that you're better and that's what sucks is that those guys that are like that aren't going to watch this movie and they're not going to change yeah this movie would have changed them <laughs> i did just to kind of add some like little light to this i thought it was okay. funny um how he was like you know what i didn't even care about this the moment i found out that the patriarchy had nothing to do with picking horses <laughs> i did i stopped caring yeah. about this like all i cared about were the horses yeah uh, that just shows like he just wanted to be a cowboy <laughs> <laughs> um but no there's like so mm. many like deep themes with this movie about like transitioning from girl to womanhood and like womanhood to motherhood and like all those stories and like i'm sorry not all those stories but like all those just like hidden meanings and like America Ferrera's monologue towards the end. Oh my goodness, that shattered me. That broke me into a million pieces because of how true it was. Um, <clears throat> sorry, it's getting me a little emotional. I cried so many times during this movie. <laughs> so many times. It was like even in the beginning when they were doing the first monologue or the first montage mm -hmm. when Barbie's like connecting to her girl, like her, you know, the girl oh, that right. plays with her. Mm -hmm. That first. Um, montage even that made me like kind of emotional like it like reminded me of being little and like mm. playing with barbies and just wanting that innocence back like, so beautiful yeah. so the the movie has a, a has a really good way of um making like having those like serious topics and and making it into a twist making it funny kind of like what you yeah. mentioned earlier with the whole thing but it also has its moments where it's super serious just like you mentioned mm -hmm. um with uh i think there's at one point where even she's like like this place is wild like i've been catcalled i've been looked down on and whatnot and then the whole america uh the the whole speech was like it was powerful it was a very powerful like speech where even i was like I was like, I was just kind of tense and just kind of like <laughs> listening to it. Like, like it's, it's very deep and yeah, emotional. And, and right before that, Margot Robbie as Barbie, like getting me again, mm. like emotional because like how she's talking about herself. Um, like that's like when she's at her lowest, like she's just like a Barbie doll. She just, stiffed. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's stiffed and depressed. Like I am at my lowest and, <laughs> and they even have like emotionally and physically. <laughs> <laughs> And and they have fun with it. Cause right. Like when mm -hmm. she's like tearing up saying that like, well, first it gets really heavy and mm -hmm. she's just saying like, 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 I'm not beautiful anymore. Right. Like, like that, and like that, sh that shit hits. We're like, no, I'm not a girl. And right, I cause she's like, all she's um, she's been crying. And whatnot, yeah. So. Yeah. And like just overall, like she's not what she's supposed to be. She's not what is cause she's extraordinary. No, Barbie? she is. Um, she's uh, no, 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 no. Stereotypical. Yeah, stereotypical, say, stereotypical Barbie, but, but that's the joke. Like she's not actually stereotypical. Barbie. Right, right, right. But I think she is extraordinary. 
because then she said something like, because America Fer- Ferrera later said something like, well, how about, like, forget extraordinary Barbie. How about just ordinary Barbie? But I, I don't know. But point. So I think, uh, I, okay, I think I understand what you're going to. So she's having that identity crisis, right? That mm-hmm. where she's like, like, there's all these Barbies that are doctors, they're, they're presidents, astronauts, and I'm just uh, just a normal Barbie, you know, and like I'm like to her, she's just like I'm like I'm nothing, and then that's when America is like, no, like you are more than that. And you're and she goes on to say how she was meaningful to her and how much she means to her, and she's like, oh wow, like am I really all these things? Just to kind of add to what you were just saying, mm-hmm. and then that's when the whole conversation about having an ordinary Barbie would be important, right? Because they're more than just extraordinary, right? Right, and just even an ordinary. Barbie can be very meaningful and impactful on, and it'll make people. a lot of money. And it'll make a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. That's what they, that's what they said. I didn't say that. <laughs> um, but what I was going to mention is like, yeah, like it's super serious, and we, we kind of talked about two scenes that sandwich a funny moment because like there's that where like she's talking about she's not beautiful anymore, right. like she's worthless, and then you're talking about the America Ferrera speech. Both of you guys were, but in between that. They have like that little note, like director's oh, note or writer's yes, note. The narrator's note. Yeah, narrator's <laughs> like, like, don't cast Margot Robbie to say this line or whatever. Because like, <laughs> she said she's ugly. So, yeah. so good. Like, just the way that it balances like humor mm-hmm. and feels reminded me very much of, like James Gunn, which is one of my favorite directors right. for that reason, because of that balance that he's able to capture. Greta Gerwig did that shit. That's why I, I want to see more of her movies now. Yeah, um, I 100% agree. I want to see all of her movies. I definitely want to see Lady Bird after this because, yeah. yeah, mommy issues to the max, bro. <laughs> mommy issues to the max. <laughs> um, what else did I want to say about this movie? Yeah, this movie is just so good at making you see, feel so emotional and so, like, just about to cry, but then it hits you with, like, the funniest joke ever. <laughs> I, I guess now we can transition all the funny shit because we haven't even yes. shouted out Ryan Gosling yet. We talked a little bit about him, but like shout out to Ryan Gosling because he, he was hilarious. Great. He was freaking hilarious. The whole time. Uh, like like all the little shit that he would do. Like, Simu Liu. No, no. It's, Simu Liu was them. funny Simu too. Liu. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You guys aren't giving enough credit to Michael Sarah. He oh, Michael is Sarah. just constantly I, I overshadowed. To get Alan, Alan. Alan. Alan's great. Alan this dude has a whole action best. scene where he puts someone to sleep. With, he like, kicked the ass. Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> with the shovel. Yeah, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. So good. And Michael Sarah's perfect casting for that because he's like, oh yeah, yeah. And, and Alan. Yeah, he just, he's just an Alan. I still don't really understand that whole part, but it, it worked perfectly. And like, he was finally like, okay, I'm finally leaving this place. Yeah. And then they're like, you know what? No, we're going back. And he's like, ah, bro, I, when can I leave this place? Like, I just want to leave. <laughs> but like all the shit that Ryan Gosling would do, like when he when he says something like, or Barbie sends him to walk, or he wants to walk, or whatever, and then he's like, can I go this way? And she's like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's like yes. And he walks away, and he's just staring at her. And she goes, I'm going too far. <laughs> <laughs> she don't go too far. <laughs> don't go too far. But oh, on that part, so she was she was sitting at a bus stop. And that part was really, I, I loved that part so much. Yes. And so it's her, right? And she just kind of trying to figure out what's going on and how, how to how to do her, how, how, how to, to find I, her person, right? And next to her is little old well, lady. Before that, she's like soaking in humanity. Like she's looking at like like the trees and she's looking at people that are like right. crying and are fighting. And she's you know, people that are happy too. She's like she's going the real through life, the motions. The emotions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, yeah, so there's there's an, there's an older lady waiting for the bus as well right next to her. And she kind of just looks at her and she's just staring at her. She goes, you're so beautiful. And she goes, I know it. I know it. <laughs> oh, so But then she smiles powering. at her too. Yeah, like, like they both smile at each other and it's just. Oh so it's God, like, God. you know, that part was really, it was, it was powerful too because it's just like, uh, it shows like. It, you know, it, it it gives her power to just to like, like, yeah, like I know it. Like, you don't you don't have to tell me that. Yeah, so yeah. it's kind of it sounds like she, she wants, hasn't figured right? out because she's yeah. an older woman. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's what they're going for. I, that, that's kind of where I was going for too. You know, um, it, it's it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, going on that. Oh no, never mind. I don't have. I had a note on that, but I lost it. Never mind. But <laughs> well, it was well from what I can remember of that note. But it's just like it was that that was a comment on like. People on the on the comment that aging and getting older is ugly, but in reality, like when you get older and like all those 
fine lines and wrinkles like it just becomes like a sign of you becoming older and wiser and like if anything like it just makes you become more real and like that's a bit, not a bit more wiser and a bit more wrinkly that's it yeah <laughs> like it's not ugly like you're right you know like it's a shame that you know society makes us feel like getting older makes us ugly and it's it's not true you know because yeah. we've seen so much life at that point <laughs> One of the best scenes. I think this is the one that teared me up. I can't remember. I just remember I had tears in my eyes at some point. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think it was this one, the last scene where uh, the creator of Barbie. Oh, oh lady. Yeah. yeah. I mean, well, first that, that <laughs> first we get the scene where like Will Ferrell's chasing her and then she runs into her. And then she's like asking her who she is or whatever. I thought it, she was going to end up being like her first owner. And I thought like she just kept getting passed on. Or oh, something. okay. It ended, up not, that. Yeah. it ended up not being that. Mm-hmm. Um. But she ended up being the creator and Ruth. She, Ruth. See, he's good with names. <laughs> um, ended up being her creator and essentially her mother. And so like she like essentially needs to like talk to her mother. Or you could go the God route, like the creator mm-hmm. route yeah, of it. Where like yeah. she's she's talking to her like and then she's asking her like like she's oh she doesn't know what to do. Can she I does, backtrack real quick? Sure. That part was funny because uh, Will. Damn it! Will, Will, yeah, yeah, I was, was gonna like, bring that up. <laughs> like, oh, see, just the ghost that leaves that yeah. around, yeah. around the and building again. A little oh, shit. Floor. Oh, sorry, floor. Yeah, like it's that little shit. Like where, like it, you can tell it's gonna start getting serious. But like, all right, let me, let's make it funny real quick, and then we'll go serious again. <laughs> She's so good at balancing that. Um, but yeah, she goes through her speech. Ultimately, mm-hmm. like that conversation was about her like trying to find an ending and hinting at the fact that like, she doesn't want to be a Barbie anymore. Like, she wants to be a human. Like she's kind of already been a human. She's felt all these emotions. Right. And then her mother slash creator is telling her like, oh, you don't need right. my permission right. to be human. And again, like that's not a girl moment. That yeah. is a human, <laughs> that is a human yeah. moment right. where it's like, you don't need any, not even your mother, not even your God, like yeah. whatever you, whatever your, interp- your interpretation is. You don't need anybody's permission to be human, to feel everything it is to be human, to do whatever you want, as long as you're not hurting anybody. <laughs> yeah, she's just but like, what I named you moment. after my daughter, Barbara. Yeah. Oh God, <laughs> it's so dude, good. It's so beautiful. Barbara Hardwick, I think it was. Yeah. yeah. It was just like, and then uh, just right after that, you know, they, they take her. You know, to us, like, oh, she's getting like a job interview. Oh right? yeah, she's getting prep. <laughs> she's getting all this encouragement. Like you got this, you can do it. <laughs> go on, go on. Just oh, do you want me to tell, yeah, tell, it, tell, it. tell how the how the story ends? So yeah, Barbie's like, you know, she looks nice. She's like in a blazer. She's like walking. She's got up the Birkenstocks the, now. Uh. Yeah, she's like walking up to the receptionist, and she's like, "Hi, my name's Barbara. I have an appointment." And then. um Oh, something. I forgot how it ends, but basically the nurse is like, oh, okay, Barbara, the gynecologist will see you now. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that goes along with a yes. joke that we heard earlier, too. It's the cat calling moment. She's like, and by the way, like, I don't have any, any genitals. <laughs> and, and, and Oh, and he doesn't either. She points at Ken. Okay. And, and then Ken passes by. He's like, I have all the genitals. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Ryan Gosling was funny. Oh. Everybody was great. Um and also uh what what's her name? I'm forgetting her name. The the one that that Kate McKinnon who plays the oh, weird Barbie. McKinnon. Weird Barbie. Barbie. And she's she's always in the splits. <laughs> the weird splits. Dude, oh my god. They just oh, Kate McKinnon's character is just We're so sorry awesome. for calling you weird behind your back. And to your, your face. face. <laughs> <laughs> and then she's like, it's okay, like I, I owned it. <laughs> I, I owned it already. <laughs> um fun fact, I think she played uh, Barbie. Whenever they did SNL Barbie skits. Oh, really? Yeah. Um. So that's probably like a shout out to her. Mm. And I don't know if you guys ever are like. I'm sure you guys don't realize or like keep up with the Barbie trends and stuff like that. But what makes you think that? I know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just conforming to my stereotypes <laughs> and believing that men don't like Barbie. Um. But no, like they used like legit Barbie dolls that were real um in this movie and like a lot of the outfits mm. and um like the very like the introduction barbie was the very first like the number one barbie okay. like that's an iconic uh oh, fit the, for the, the uh swimsuit yeah the black and white striped swimsuit um the that pregnant one, barbie was funny yeah <laughs> they set it up at the very beginning of just like like she's trying to like to stay in frame and she's like oh like, like she's discontinued like that's so and so she discontinued then will ferrell comes out of the house at the end of the movie <laughs> and he's like oh i thought we discontinued <laughs> 
I don't know if that was commentary on how men see pregnant women. And so, I don't. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's, but it's, it, was it was so hilarious. funny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Really good stuff. I was laughing throughout yeah. almost the entire movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that that's the thing is like for movies to be funny, like genuinely laugh, not like oh this is a funny part. Like I should probably laugh, you know. Like actually genuinely funny. You can't hold back your laugh. I was surprised how funny this movie was, was beginning yeah. to end. There's mm-hmm. just like like the end of like the second act where like stuff started getting serious and emotional. Um, that it got you know it wasn't funny anymore, but it's not supposed to be. Right. And like they had like a couple comments in there that they sprinkle in when, you know, moments get serious. But it was so good all the way through on the comedy. They try to find balance. And I just love like the twists and turns of the story itself. Like forget all like let's just judge it as just a story itself. It was so like well paced because as soon as you thought you knew where the story would go, it would switch like. I didn't think Ken would be a bad guy. I thought Ken was going to save yeah, the day or something yeah, like that, they were going to, yeah. yeah, and that they were oh. going to end up together. And instead, we have like a Ken Civil War <laughs> happen. And, yeah, I think I love that part. Yeah, yeah. and like Will Ferrell is, is like Will Ferrell and his like character wasn't like that important. Will Ferrell was Will Ferrell. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's just he fit this movie perfectly. Yeah. Um, but just overall, like, I, like again from a from a actual like film standpoint, it was paced incredibly. It was hilarious had all the heart like this movie was great (laughs) yeah and Greta Gerwig really put like so much like love and effort into this um I saw an interview um kind of before I saw Barbie but then um I started seeing like some hints of spoilers so I stopped watching but like she was basically talking about how like she had like this whole collection of movies that basically she used to inspire Barbie and like all of these movies she was talking about like had all of, like, she included elements from all of these movies for Barbie. Mm-hmm. And I, because of that video, like, I kind of want to watch all of those movies that she was referencing. Yeah. Like, she was talking about uh, Singing in the Rain mm-hmm. and, you know, of course, Space Odyssey and, like, just all of these old, like, movies from the 50s that are all very performative and bright and colorful and, like, musically. And, mm-hmm. um, yeah, but she, like, put a lot of effort into this like and you can easily tell like that there was a lot of love put into this movie and you know 10 out of 10 please give this woman an oscar if she doesn't have one already i didn't even consider that do you guys think that this would get any oscar buzz i hope so uh i think nom- nominations yeah i think i could have some i think little women had some production. nominations I, like maybe not like the acting ones, even though like like to me like uh, if, we're doing, if we're doing good. the Gabes, the Gabies, the Gabies, <laughs> then my nominations would be very different than what the Oscars are eventually going to do. But like th- they'll probably get nominated for all all like the technical stuff, like like set design and like for costumes sure. and yeah, all easy, that. Easy. Yeah. Um. Anything <clears> else? <throat> Any comments? Questions you have for us? Or question questions you have for her? Anything? I still want to keep going. I still want to keep talking about this movie because of how much I loved it. Um, one of my favorite scenes that honestly just defined this movie and set this as my favorite movie was when they were having like the girls' night out. They were having um, party night, and Ken was trying to hang out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. No, it's cool. And um, she's like, you know, they're in the middle of their dance number. And she's like, hey, do you guys ever think about dying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and everyone just stops. Everyone just stops. Dying of uh, what? She, I, like, dying, I forgot what she of, said. Uh, di- dying for dancing or some, some, something dying like that. Dying of dancing or dying of a good time. Yeah, yeah, something like time. that. I don't know. I don't remember because I was just laughing so hard. Yeah, because at, so at that funny. point, that world is still portrayed as perfect, right? Yeah. You know, for, for the Barbies. And it's just like... No, girl, like, don't go that route. Like, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> and then Death is not a thing for us. <laughs> no. <laughs> They're all telling her, like, not to think that way. But no, like, and then the next morning, like, she just starts becoming more human. But, um, whoa. Whoa. Thank you. Um, what else? What else? What else? I feel like ugh, there's just so many. So I many like the part parts. where, um, so in the, in, in Barbie land, they don't really, they don't, eat or drink literally right yeah so when she goes to the to the real world and they and they give her a, a, oh, a, mineral a, a water. glass of water or some mineral water she just throws it on her she's like, oh, i'm sorry i didn't i didn't i'm, I'm used to this not having any, <laughs> any liquid in it. Any, any liquid in it 
I really like how they. It kind of felt like the Lego Movie, which is funny. Oh, Will right, Ferrell's yeah. in that one too. Mm-hmm. As, as, yeah. <laughs> but um, it felt like the Lego Movie at first when she's like, "Oh, Barbie doesn't need to walk any or like go anywhere. Like she just simply gets placed wherever she needs to be. So like that's why she's like floating yeah. down. And as soon as like the next day was going on and she dropped, I had leaned she's over to the... Jess. I was like, "Her owner dropped her. Like she doesn't care anymore." And I I love how they do stuff like that. Like because mm. Lego Movie was, was kind of special for that reason where. It it kind of it it gets serious at the mm. end, but not that serious, not right. to this level of like mm. emotion. But at the end of the Lego Movie, at least like from the promos, you would think that it's just a cart, not a cartoon, but it's an animated movie. And then it, there's a deeper story there. This one went like ten times further, yeah. but I just like the little details like that, mm. where like they don't tell you that she got dropped, but if you're paying attention to what they're what they're saying, you can see little details like mm. that. Um, and maybe not dropped physically, but. You know, like well, the, the owner was was normally like she. she yeah. Kind of well, I mean, I thought drop physically, but yeah, oh, may, really? maybe, maybe like metaphorically. metaphorically yeah. <laughs> I also just want to real quick mention like the Barbie world was awesome. Like the like the whole like like the Everything setup and everything was, was yeah. really cool. Very mid century modern. I'm trying to think of just like funny parts. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Yeah. Not the time. Many. All the time, me and him like looked at each other at the same time because when Ken is already like all evil, and um, he's like he's like telling the other guys like what happened. He's like, yeah, they respected me there because like Ken has all these watches and everything. He's, like they they respected me there. He's, like this lady even asked me for the time. He goes like that, and he has like three watches on. And then at the time, she didn't have a watch though. <laughs> yeah, so like me and him turned at each other and, like laughed at the same time because we both like realized like because I noticed the watches, but I didn't think anything of it. As soon as he said that, I started cracking up. Like that's why he has all the watches, so he can always have the time. He loved the respect. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um... I want to talk about how real it was for Barbie to just approach those thirteen-year-old girls. Because that took a lot of balls. 13-year-olds are scary. And then they <laughs> ate her up, like, read her to filth. They made her cry. They made her cry, which <laughs> is something that 13-year-old girls can do. And then that's when her, like, crisis happened. Yeah. yeah <laughs> like, her actual memories, crisis yeah. happened. But even then, like, that part, because they do make her cry. And, like, it, it is kind of played off, like, a little funny. Because she, she walks away. Like, she's walking, like, at the camera. And she's, like, crying like a little kid. <laughs> and then she passes by the kid that warned her not to talk to the girl because she's mean. <laughs> and she's like, you didn't listen to me. <laughs> they, 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 they never listen. Yeah, they, know, yeah, they, 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 they never listen. listen. Oh, man. So many, so many good parts of this movie. I just want to appreciate, like, all the hype. For this movie and like all like when we went to this theater and like when we went to see Oppenheimer yesterday like there were so many girls and women and people just dressed up in pink mm-hmm. I thought that was the greatest thing ever and like it's just the pink girl summer you know everyone's wearing pink everything is pink for Barbie I like how ev- like everything is that you're saying turns into summer like it's pink summer it's yeah, Barbie summer it is Barbie it's summer. Margot Robbie summer it is Margot Robbie summer <laughs> and Killian Murphy summer true Oppenheimer summer. Oppenheimer. Barben. Barbenheimer. Barben. Barbenheimer. Um, I feel like this conversation is fizzling out. Yeah. So I think it's time. I have one thing. Oh, go ahead. So what was your kind of, your thought and opinion, you know, because I, I should have thought about this way sooner, but it happened now. Whatever. When Ken got exposed to all, like, the, the patriarchy thing. Patriarchy, because it, mm. it was what, like... The gym bros. I I loved it. And Jet, Jet so was the only time she like reacted like she hit me. Because I think she realized that like I like a lot of this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like like they should, uh, it was at the point where they like they showed um uh Sylvester Stallone. Like they, oh, they, yeah. they, they kept showing guy stuff, but then at the end like they showed Sylvester Stallone. I don't know if they show him as Rocky, but they have like three pictures of him. Yeah, yeah it is Rocky. They showed Danny Zuko from Greece <laughs> and everything. <laughs> it's just like those are all the things I like. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so that, that that part was funny. Was it an accurate portrayal? Yes. I guess that was oh, self answered. Well, no, I just thought it's very like on point of like of things that can attract men. You know, right. like very stereotypical dude bro, like you know, furs and 
oh, do bro, like, oh, gym stuff, and oh, yeah, gym you know. Bros. I thought we were going to get a scene with him going to the gym. That's, that's, that's what I was that's like, I'm ready for it. Yeah. But uh, he just saw gym stuff, and he's just like, yeah. And he saw, like, this is the rest of the And then it, it did the montage, and he's just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, getting happy about, he's like, men rule the world here. <laughs> Men are respected. Yeah. Oh my god! I just I thought it was hilarious that they even included like just so many things from the real world. That the Zack just... Snyder joke. Oh I'm yeah, sorry. the Zack Snyder <laughs> joke. So... They keep shitting on like even in the bear they had a joke about Zack yeah, Snyder. Just... They keep shit on Zack Snyder people, and honestly, they deserve it because they're so annoying. I was behind them in getting the Snyder cut done, sure, but they didn't stop there. No, they they kept, kept going. going. They kept going, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it, I feel like that just embraced a whole wave of other, like, release the X cut of whatever. Like, who else brought that up or tried to bring up that? Well, they specifically were trying to do it for Suicide Squad because apparently. Yeah, exactly. The first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, there was, like, a lot of scenes that were cut out, whatever. Whatever. But yeah, overall, Barbie was an incredible movie. And if you are a girl watching this, if you are a lady watching this, if you are a boy watching this and you have a girlfriend, take her to go see this movie. And she will love you so much. She will appreciate you so much for this. And ladies, if you don't have a man, go take your girls to see this. Go dress up with a group of your girlfriends and see this movie, please. It's really, really good. Anyone else? I agree. <laughs> <laughs> girls being girls being girls. Mm -hmm. Girl group. Which one was it? Closing comments. Oh. <laughs> it's not going to get better than that. She, she, we're getting out of here with I that. I already gave that comment at the beginning. Well, that'll do it for us. This has been part two of two of Barbenheimer Weekend. I'm so glad that both movies were not just good, that they were great. Both. Were both great. of them. Mm -hmm. um, once again, if you made it this far, you're not already subscribed, definitely subscribe. Um, like the video. Share with somebody. Maybe two, maybe three. You know, think of someone special, someone that, that you think should watch Barbie, should watch Oppenheimer, whichever. You and know send what? them our way. Send them our way. Send them our way. Yeah. We love having you guys to listen to us, to comment, give your thoughts and opinions. Nailed it. <laughs> You're a natural. <laughs> and until next time, peace out. Peace.